Hey, hey, welcome back to Happy Hour at Hops World. Max Raphael here with tip number 122. Today, we're gonna to talk about a very rare variety of hops. Although most of you have never seen a smooth cone plant or a smooth cone cone because it's not commercially grown, its progeny or its babies are definitely popular in use to make beer throughout the world. So without no further ado, let's do it. Smooth cone hops. So, Smooth Cone Hops was created at the Rewanka Research Center in Rewanka, New Zealand by Dr. R.H.J. Roberg, the infamous Dr. Rudy, who later actually had a hops plant named after him, a certain variety. He is the, let's say, godfather of hops breeding in New Zealand. And the first plant was created in the early 1960s and it has medium alpha acid, so it could be used throughout the boil, either for bitterness and for its aromas. So smooth cone is no longer used commercially in the world since the 60s and 70s, and it's a real difficult plant to get a hold of and to see. We have one here, we're gonna to try to use it for breeding because smooth cone is best known for its progeny, its babies, Pacific Jam. Dr. Rudy, which used to be called Super Alpha, Green Bullet, Raquel, which used to be called Alpha Aroma, are four of the children from Smooth Cone that all have alpha acids higher than its original mother. So the original Smooth Cone variety was curated by crossing a California cluster female with an unknown male. And that created Smooth Cone, which is the true sister of the other New Zealand variety, First Choice. And they created this smooth cone plant. And what they did, using a chemical, they treated the plant and changed the amount of chromosomes in each gene and doubled them. And what that does is creates a tetraploid plant. And that tetraploid was crossed with a normal male with a normal amount of chromosomes, which is called a diploid because it has two chromosomes as opposed to tetraploid with four. And the babies that came out of that are triploids, which have three chromosomes. And what happens is these triploids are seedless or supposedly seedless. There are a few seeds, but very few. If you try to germinate them, the cones don't create seeds. They only create oils more resins, more lupulin, more what you want. And most, not all, triploids that I've seen have big, fatter cones. So this is how they created these four varieties using smooth cone mother plant. And for those of you that want to know more about diploids, triploids, or tetraploids, I'll put a link in the description below for our video all about triploid hops. Check it out. So smooth cone, if you're going to use it for beer, go for it. But if you're going to use it for breeding, definitely go for it. So without further ado, let's go out in the hop yard and check out our smooth cone baby. Hey, hey, here we are in our breeding hop yard, Southeast Pennsylvania in Northeast United States. And we're with our smooth cone plant. She's a baby, first year. We actually had her in our grow room for a little while, but we planted her outside this year. She has some small, nice, tight, compact cones. I guess that's why they call them smooth cone. <laughs> Duh. We use this mostly for breeding, since she is the mother of some killer hops plants, as you can see from here on down should be full of seeds and smooth cone 
typically has between seven and nine and a half percent alpha acids, three and a half to 5.1 on the beta side. Oils, 0.4 to 1.1 milliliters per 100 grams of hops. As far as flavors, floral, maybe uh, raisins, pine, spices, earthy. That's what you get from this hops. Substitutes, green bullet, possibly cluster would be a possible substitute as this would be really hard hops to find commercially. As far as what kind of beers you can make, lagers, uh, pale ales, American ales, and even IPAs. You can use smooth cone hops. Production isn't that great, from 650 to 1,500 pounds per acre. The HSI hop storage index from 60 to 70% at 70 degrees Fahrenheit for six months. As far as plant spacing, I would go 12 to 14 feet. You could go down to 10 feet. The branches look really small, although this is a first year plant. So we'll double check next year. But anywhere from 36 to 42 inches between plants. I would definitely, if you can get a hold of one, try it, make a beer, put some comments if you have this plant. It's hard to get. We got this from the USDA years ago, actually now. The first year we put one outside. She made it to the top wire easily. Has a nice little clustery, small cones, but we'll wait and see next year. Well, there she is, our smooth cone plant. Reached the wire, came back down a little. We only have a 16 foot trellis. Nice, tight, compact, round little cones coming down the plant. Side arms, pretty short. As you can see, this side arm here is about the longest. And it's maybe 10 inches. Coming down here, looking at the main stem, three or four, heading up. Medium green leaves. We definitely have some problems with bugs down the bottom here, but as you can see, the stems aren't that thick. This is a baby plant. But I don't think this plant is that huge and beefy in general. But it is a killer genetically. At least it's made some killer babies. And we use it, as you can see, we have the red ribbon right there, full of seeds. Our smooth cone babies coming next year. Well, back inside the hops world. Okay, so what do you think? Little small dinky cones. Well, it's a baby plant, and I'm surprised it actually all we got up to the top wire and really filled up. I can't wait till next year to see it because all of its children are super, super plants, super alpha, alpha aromas, Pacific gem, even in Brazil. They really, really grow well. So we'll see next year. Maybe we'll make another video about our second year smooth cone. I hope you liked our tip and our video and our plant. If you liked it, put a thumbs up. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next week, folks. Happy hour at Hops World. Cheers to life.